electoral votes that day on January 6th. It was our constitutional duty. And I invited them instead to come with me to witness this historic event, the peaceful transfer of power in America. And they said they heard that President Trump was calling on his followers to come to Washington to protest, and they asked me directly, would it be safe? Would it be safe? And I told them, of course it should be safe. This is the capital. Steny Hoyer, our majority leader, had kindly offered me the use of his office on the House floor because I was one of the managers that day, and we were going through our grief. This is a personal so note. and Hank were with me in Steny's office. As he was telling us about how personal about democracy is of our and child, how Tommy, it really affects Tommy. all of us personally. Mr. Neguse, it Mr. affects Cicilli all of us personally. This is the Democratic uh, impeachment of officer Lots of the of House managers. Came to I can't think me. of his name. And I, I felt a sense of being lifted up from oh, the Jamie enemy. Raskin. And I won't forget their tenderness. And through the tears, I was working on a speech for the floor when we would all be together in joint session. And I wanted to focus on unity when we met in the House. I quoted Abraham Lincoln's famous 1838 Lyceum speech. Why? Can't you where he think said of something your own? That if division and destruction ever come to America, it won't come from abroad. You're right. It'll come from within. And you're doing it right now. Said Lincoln. And in that same speech, Lincoln passionately deplored mob violence. This was right after the murder of Elijah Lovejoy, the abolitionist newspaper editor. And he de Lincoln deplored mob violence, and he deplored mob rule, and he said it would lead to tyranny and despotism in America. That's why I filed my federal lawsuit against the Democrats. After the House very graciously and warmly welcomed me back. And Tabitha and Hank came with me to the floor, and they watched it from the gallery, and it was, when it was over, they went back to that office, Denny's office, off of the House floor. They didn't know that the House had been breached yet, and that an insurrection, a riot, or a coup... Law enforcement was taking over. And by the time... Milita the U.S. Office, military had so found out there was on. a coup attempt was by the I Democrats. I there to be with them in that office. And all around me, people were calling their wives and their husbands, their loved ones, to say goodbye. Members of Congress, in the House anyway, were removing their congressional pins so they wouldn't be identified by the mob as they tried oh, to escape. Oh, right. Because you wear one of those, you're a congressional member. Our I got one of those, and I'm not a congressional us, member. We were told to put our gas masks on. And then there was a sound I will never forget. The sound of pounding on the door like a battering ram. The most haunting sound I ever heard and I will never forget it. My chief of staff, Julie Tagan, was with Tabitha and Hank locked and barricaded in that office. The kids hiding under the desk. They're coming after you, criminals. Traitors of America. Texts. You don't like it. I'd be scared, too. Calls to I would definitely be scared of American die. law enforcement and military coming through those doors. My son -in -law I believe you're lucky you're alive before. today. And when they were finally if they wanted you dead, I think you would have been dead, sir. You had no we control of that capital. And I no one. The, the security of the Capitol had been breached by the insurrectionists, by the law enforcement and the U.S. military official personnel. A brilliant algebra teacher in Teach for America. The same people now, that arrest other people all day long. I told her how sorry I was, and I promised her that it would not be like this again the next time she came back to the Capitol with me. And you know what she said? She said, Dad... I don't want to come back to the Capitol. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That, you're so fake. 
Hey, Karen. Karen, come on. Put up your alienation of the section. Come on. Let's have it. Yeah. Oh, come back. I wouldn't either. You know how many steps it is to fucking walk that place? Excuse my language, but come on. The flag's still on it to spear and pummel one of our police officers ruthlessly, mercilessly, tortured by a pole with a flag on it that he was defending with his very life. People died that day. You're right. And because, why? Because of the coup by the Democrats. The Officer FBI the swore they would stop Trump, Officer didn't they? Was that, that in day. the impeachment? The FBI the swore they would stop Trump, didn't they? So American Senators, law enforcement and U.S. military officials, when the Capitol was uh, under the attack, they were we coming to take a, back our capital from the coup by the Democrats. In our institutions, because they refuse to accept the will of the people under the Constitution of the United States. You're not the people. Much less You're the one we hired. But you don't want to do what we hired you to do. You want to fight with the Republicans. Have died for and fought for. And you want to keep it that way. You like killing. So the corrupt presidents... Have several weeks to get away. Yeah, from Joe Biden and Burisma, History right? Does not support a January Let's get anyway. Biden in so there and have him questioned Trump. under oath. Let's get Biden in there and question him under oath. 